Today we are learning how to solve problems by using the order of operations. Now I expect you already know about the order of operations, because today we're going to apply it to some harder equations, like this one. In this equation, instead of just looking for parentheses, we actually want to look for any type of grouping symbol, because we notice that this problem has these brackets. These brackets act just like parentheses. Inside of these brackets, we actually see another set of parentheses, so we will solve those first. And inside of those parentheses, we see we have addition and multiplication. We know we need to solve multiplication first, so 2 times 3 is 6. Then we bring down the rest of our equation. Now we still have our brackets, but inside we also have the parentheses. Those get solved next. 4 plus 6 is 10. We bring down the rest of our equation, and now we can solve the brackets. 6 plus 10 is 16. Then we can keep moving. There are no more grouping symbols. There are no more exponents. So now we multiply. 16 times 5 is 80. Let's do one of these together. Let's use the order of operations to solve this problem. Well, what piece should I solve first? We look for grouping symbols, and we see these brackets here. Inside of the brackets are parentheses. We'll solve those first. 3 plus 3 is 6. Then we bring down the rest of our equation. Now what should I solve next? I still have my brackets, and inside of those brackets, I'll solve the multiplication before addition. So 2 times 5 is 10. Now solve the rest of this on your own. What is the solution to this equation? Now we can solve our brackets. 6 plus 10 is 16. Then there are no more grouping symbols, no more exponents, no multiplication or division, so now we add. 7 plus 16 gives us a final answer of 23. Here's another problem to practice with. Let's solve this equation using order of operations. Well, what should I solve first? We look for grouping symbols, and we see they're here. And inside of those grouping symbols, we have parentheses. We solve that first. 2 plus 2 is 4. Now what should I solve next? Well, I still have my brackets, my grouping symbols. But inside, I see an exponent. I will solve that exponent next. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Now solve the rest of this equation on your own. What is the solution to this equation? Well, inside of our brackets, we see two addition operations. We will work left to right. 7 plus 4 is 11. Then we can solve 11 plus 8 is 19. Now that we're finished with our grouping symbols, we don't have any exponents, we can multiply. 19 times 5 gives us our final answer of 95. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What is the solution to this equation? Inside of your grouping symbols, you see parentheses. 4 plus 1 is 5. Then you finish solving your grouping symbols. 3 times 5 is 15. After that, you solve exponents. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. Then you solve multiplication. 9 times 5 is 45. And finally, you can solve addition. 15 plus 45 is 60. That's our final answer. Now here is your last problem for this video. What is the solution to this equation? First, you solve your grouping symbols. Parentheses go first. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now we have an exponent inside of our grouping symbols. 5 to the power of 2 is 25. Then we can solve 25 times 4 to get 100. After that, we have multiplication. 3 times 4 is 12. And finally, we can add. 12 plus 100 is 112. That's our final answer. Today you learned how to solve equations by using the order of operations.